I put everything together like it's all they sauteed. I am now putting the rice in the pan. I am just going to mix it up a bit. This is how I make my rice. And then I start to combine everything. So say you have your day old rice. You pretty much just put it in a pan, a little oil, mix it all up. Remember that I cooked this big pot of rice earlier. And then you just basically just it's kind of like warming it up and toasting it up a little bit. Okay, so I have my mixed veggies. I pour that in. I have that chicken and the shrimp. I'm gonna pour all of that in there with the juice because you want all that seasoning in there. Okay, nothing is going to waste. I am adding my gizzard. I told you, you are welcome to skip this. I like the gizzard, so does my family. And here is my pepper and onion that I sauteed earlier. And if I need more rice, I can add that as well. Now for my peeps that wants a little extra flavor in there okay you want that Chinese fried rice flavor this is what you do a little bit of fish sauce okay and a little bit of oyster sauce is what I add to it okay just a little bit of dab of both and you throw that in there it is delicious I promise you you can get this at your any local um, Asian market you can get this Okay, I'm going to put this in there. This is how my family likes it. So usually I, I just add a little bit to it, not much. I will say maybe just about a, about a tablespoon. Also, yes, I'm not measuring. I cook little, you know, that's how we do it. Cook from the soul, okay? If you're not sure, try with a little bit of half a teaspoon, see how you like it. If you feel you need a little bit more, you can add it to it. But that's what I do. Crank the heat up a little bit, let everything kind of cook together. Taste your rice. If it's too hard, just, you know, splash a little bit of water, let it all sit together, and let it cook. This is beautiful. You can't tell me it's not. This is delicious. Your family will love this. Look at that juicy shrimp in there. Mm-mm. And all of that right there. So yes, this is how, honestly, even, you know, for the Nigerian folks, I suggest you try this, and then when somebody tastes your rice, they're like, mm, what is that? There's something that tastes a little different about it, and they want to know, you know, that, that could be your secret sauce right there. That's what I use, okay? A little fish sauce, a little oyster sauce. Knock it out of the ballpark right there. And if you like some pepper as well, you are welcome to add some red, um, crushed red peppers. You can put it in there just to spice it up a bit. My family don't like the kick and they don't like the heat, so I don't even bother. We just do fried rice and keep it simple. Okay, you can always have the chili sauce on the side to add to it if you want that spice with it. It's easy to add to it. You can't take it out once you put it in. So you want to make sure this is kid friendly and the kids can eat it. Okay. All right, folks. This is the end of my cooking session today. If you like this and gain any kind of value, like I said earlier, do me a favor. Please click the, click the like button and subscribe and share this video as well from my kitchen to yours i hope you have a safe and blessed day and i will see you in the next one okay thank you for watching have you a very lovely day Bye bye